Howdy everyone, it's Rob from New Zealand Post here. In today's lesson, we'll be installing a Sato label printer on my Windows 10 PC. These instructions apply to any computer running Windows 7, 8, 8.1 or 10, but we'll have some slight variations. I'll be showing you how to use the automatic printer driver installation and how to manually install the printer driver if your computer does not automatically do this due to IT policies. Let's get started. So today with me here, I have a Sato CG408DT printer, this one here, which is the current model at time of recording that Sato will recommend to New Zealand Post customers. Sato is New Zealand Post's preferred label printer provider. So how do we install it? First, plug in the power supply included with the printer, attach it to the printer. Then before you turn it on, plug the printer into the computer via the USB cable. Then turn the printer on. Sounds like my PC has picked up the printer. On Windows 7, 8 and 8.1, you'll actually see a little pop-up dialog appear that shows printer driver installation. On the latest version of Windows 10, this is actually hidden. The best way to keep track of what's going on is to have a look at the control panel and devices and printers to see if the driver is installed yet. Let's do that now. Open control panel. Click view devices and printers. And you'll see here my driver has now been installed. So here's my Sato CG408. Note that it doesn't include the DT text when it's installed in this way. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to manually install a printer driver. You'll need to follow these steps if the printer driver does not automatically install like it has for me just now. There'll be one more step right at the end where we'll assign the printer settings. To manually install the printer, you'll need to download the driver from Saito's website. You can find a link to this via each of support pages. Let's do this now. Go to support. Click on Installing Label Printer Driver, Windows Sato, and scroll to the bottom where you can find the manual printer driver installation. Click this link, and we can download the driver install package here. Once you have this, download it, open it up, and extract the folder inside the zip file. Open the folder. Double click on prninst.exe, allow it to run, and follow a few quick steps. Click next, choose install printer, choose the correct printer model from the list on the right, in my case that'll be the CG408, click next, then choose the port that the printer will be installed on. This is probably the trickiest step. Because I've attached my printer via USB, I want to choose one of the USB ports available. In my case, there's only one, so the decision is pretty easy. But if you have a computer with many printers plugged in, there will be multiple USB ports. Typically, if you're installing this from scratch, the correct port to choose is the one with the highest number. If you make a mistake, you can change the port later via the printer driver settings. So with that selected, simply click finish and the printer will install. I'm going to skip this step because I've already got my printer installed. Now that all looked pretty easy, but there is one more step we must complete, whether we install the printer driver automatically or manually. Go to control panel, devices and printers again. Right click on your Sato printer, go to printer properties, go to driver settings, and then click on maintenance. This page allows you to import a driver settings package. We've created one specifically for our New Zealand Post printing settings. We'll need to download the package first, which we can do via eShip's support pages.
on the same support page we visited earlier, download the appropriate configuration file for your particular printer model. All SATO CG series models are supported by this one, and all WS models, which is a new series of label printers from SATO, are supported by this file. Download the file. Now jumping back to control panel, click import, find your file, and click open. Then simply click apply. You can check if this has worked correctly or not by going to stocks and verifying that the NZ post stock has been created. Cool, we're all set. This printer is now ready to be used for printing with eShip for New Zealand Post international labels that support the 174 length labels or smaller, paste labels and courier post labels. Next we'll need to look at configuring the eShip print client in order to select this printer automatically for printing with eShip. You can find out more about this process in another video. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.